Yo, what's up guys, it's Skills, and today's video gets you back with another Grand Cross video. So today is actually going to be about the new stuff that's coming out for Global. Uh, there's a lot that will be coming out for JP as well, but I'll probably talk about that later on. Uh, I'm way, mainly more concerned about Global stuff. So essentially, there's the new dev notes that came out and basically what they talked about and what's going on with it. Uh, they're basically going to listen to us more often. They're going to see what's, you know what we're feeling towards the game itself so if you guys have any issues or anything like that make sure to report it to cm gold on the official forums so they can actually see what's the issues and what's going on with the game itself so a couple things i want to talk about during this time frame so a lot of people have been uh, enjoying i guess the 100 day celebration and all the events that have been coming out which i actually have been as well because there's been a lot of good rewards in there so this is a really big thing with global i actually do think that they're doing really well with this so uh really good thing for uh for them basically so basically what we want to talk about real quick is going to be chapter 10 and upcoming uh grand story so essentially you're going to be able to get 30 more gems from the story chapter 10 which means more stuff that's going to be coming out for you to grind out as well as getting a little bit more gems from grinding out the actual state uh stages and stuff like that so that's really cool as well so keep that in mind uh then there's gonna be a new phase uh, a maze in the grand festival while the 10 commandments look on uh, i'm not sure what that is or the upcoming i guess that's just, just actually this uh chapter 10 and stuff so that's the first thing aside from the chapters and stuff like that development team is also hard at working creating a different kind of grand story so this is what we've all been waiting for and i've literally said this i think this is gonna happen soon with the final boss go through so jp players if you guys are here if you guys are not and you guys are still completely new to global there is a boss battle for go next thing will be merlin and then so on so on so go is the next unit that will have its own boss battle just like how king hat is so <laughs> we're gonna definitely do a lot of videos on that we're gonna do a lot of videos on teams what teams you can make i'll make all those kinds of videos once uh we get the uh more information out but essentially this is finally coming but while this is also coming blue lilia is finally announced and it's a step up step up meaning that she should be guaranteed at the end of the actual step up so 242 gems that's all you need make sure you have that so you can get her easily and i'm telling you the reason why is because she is going to be the best unit with blue demon melee against this gother because the thing is this gother is a red type unit and you can see that that's his costume it's actually really really nice for a costume so uh with this when it comes to the actual boss battles it's essentially gear that matters the most gear and your cc that needs to be really high so i don't know if they're gonna bring hell through this version or they might just have extreme i'm not too sure what they do but just know the blue lilia and blue demon melee will destroy this whole event easily so just keep that in mind now this is the best time to summon now like this is uh, skip anything that, that global has right now and just focus on what's about to come out really soon so um i don't know exactly when it's coming out but just know that they have already said that they uh you know everyone enjoy the tensura co collaboration and stuff like that but they've only, only been talking about like what's coming out soon so if you're progress progressing through the story please note that the final boss battle becomes available upon the clearing uh episode 74 and chapter 6.5 so um we plan to release someone you've all been waiting for yeah we have been waiting for so it's really good as well so and another thing is reverse reverse stages this actually is very annoying and kind of tough actually if you think about it uh basically you're the enemy you're the enemy playing against the hero so uh there's gonna be a lot of these steps what i'm assuming is that there will be bringing out the part two banner as well so there's part one and part two tickets and uh jp version i think global is gonna uh bring that in as well so part two tickets will most likely have like blue demon melee on that banner and uh hopefully something i don't know exactly what they're also gonna bring but uh part one units will be like the original units that first came out in the game then part two will be units like uh blue demon melee or green dn that would be put into those kinds of banners so look forward to that as well blue, uh, the part two tickets are really good to have so the reverse stages should be giving those to us whenever you finish the actual uh stages and stuff like that so do all that when you can as well so that's basically all for the dev notes right there i also want to talk about blue lilia beforehand so uh i'm gonna make a full guide on a team set like what you can run for this uh boss battle for gother so keep that in mind we will be doing that later on today maybe tomorrow or whatever i decide but to talk about lilia if you guys don't know how lilia works is basically she is she's blue king and she's green merlin both in one card so the way she works is 
the reason why she's super good with uh, Blue Demon Melee, and which is why you're gonna need Blue Demon Melee uh, with her, because Blue Demon Melee is literally like best friends with her, and she, this is where he does a lot of damage. And he's he, you're probably gonna see these this team running on PvP as well. But Blue Lilia, her first skill attack as a two star or three star takes away ultimate gauges. So essentially, you know, yeah, Green Merlin does it in the one star, but the two star does it the same way but it's, it's attack all on uh, on the enemies so that's really different compared to green merlin so she can attack all on the enemy and take away every single ultimate gauge orb on each of the enemies which is insane the other thing is her healing she heals all allies on her first skill which no i don't i don't think any other card realistically does that properly so her first skill attack even heals all allies her second skill does the same thing, but it removes debuffs. Third skill, or like the third rank as well, does the same thing, just more HP. So as a healer, she heals regardless of which card you're using. So first skill would still work, which is insane for this unit. Her ultimate increases damage, or inflicts damage equal to 350% attack on all enemies. She, atta she attacks all, she decreases skill ranks, and depletes ultimate move gauge orb. So in PvP, she's destructive, like insanely good. So the reason why she's super good for Blue Demon Melee is because of her passive. Her passive increases all allies pierce rate by 50% of the value of the hero's pierce rate. So essentially, what that means is if you have a lot of pierce rate on a unit, she's giving 50% more of that value, right? So Blue Demon Melee already sitting at, what, 40%? He's going to do a lot of damage because of that pierce rate. And pierce rate ignores essentially what? Ignores defense, I, I guess. And then you also have his first skill attack, which is a three times pierce rate increase. So you're just going to do a lot of damage. That's basically what it is. Resistance and pierce rate are somewhat the same. I think pierce rate is like it ignores defense. And then resistance is more like it, um, it's prone to defense or something like that. It, they're, they're, it, the wording is a little bit weird, but pierce rating essentially is just really, really good to have on these kinds of units. Uh, so yeah, keep that in mind. If you have Blue Demon Melee... Blue Lilia is one of the best units for him. And honestly, you can run Blue Blue Demon Melee with Blue Lilia. Or if you don't have Blue Melee, you can have one specific unit that you guys should already have by now. And that's going to be the boy. If I can find him, it is going to be... I don't see him. Hauser, there you go. Hauser. The reason why is because he has the same exact damage with, uh, like, with uh, Blue Demon Melee. 100%, 150, and 250. It's also a pierce rate as well. The good thing about him is that he also has AoEs on both of his cards, so he's just going to do a lot more damage. His pierce rate is at 20%, which isn't as much as Demon Melee, but hey, you can still have him on your team and run him in geared PvP. And geared PvP with good gear for him, Hauser's actually amazing, so you'll see when, you, when, when she comes out, so keep that in mind. But for these next things that are coming out, the, the global side, very, very good. Just keep that in mind. Um, I'll be making a video guide on Gother, talking about what teams you can run, and then I will be doing the actual event when it comes out as well. So keep those, uh, keep that in mind. Uh, hit the hit the notification button whenever uh, you know those videos come out, so you guys can see that. But uh, there's a couple teams that you definitely want to run with Lilia. You can run the Hauser, you can run the Blue Demon Melee, or if you really want to, just because you know <laughs> Escanor, Escanor. We're gonna talk about Escanor. Why? Because he has 80% Pierce rate. Which is one of the highest in the game so uh you can run him on the team as well and do a lot of damage now it's more efficient i think whenever you have the green uh, the red one i believe whenever that comes out but he is super good as well so there's a couple teams you can run with this lily honestly that's going to be really really fun to use now the thing is you're going to run into uh, valentes now that's the issue with this game right now because of how global did it they brought out the counter for blue lilia before they brought out Blue Lilia. So, Valencia, as you guys know, she decreases all enemies' pierce rate by the value of the hero's resistance at the start of the battle, right? So, if the hero's resistance is, you know, pretty high, so this is 20%, but like, let's just say if we talk about Blue Lilia, resistance is 40%. So, essentially, she decreases all enemies' pierce rate by the value of the hero's resistance at the start of the battle. So, I I'm not sure if the hero's, yeah, I'm assuming the hero's would be yours. So, resistance is 20%, so she reduces that much. From Blue Lilia, so that it, it's it's crazy. Like Valencia is actually stupid annoying, and then also be, being able to break down, uh, you know, defense-related stats and attack-related stats. That's actually really annoying against her. So uh, just keep that in mind when you run in geared PVP. You're gonna run into a lot of her. So uh, hopefully you guys you know can handle that. But 
there are teams that you'll have to run and trying to figure it out but blue lilia i don't know it's definitely worth it i definitely going to talk about her a lot throughout this week um or whenever this comes out because i don't think there's an actual full date for it so just gonna have to go with it and just wait and give uh, more information on this but yeah that's gonna do it for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy let me know in the comments below if you guys are excited for the new gother uh boss battle and the blue lilia that everyone's been waiting for so i'm super excited hopefully you guys are as well let me know in the comments below drop a like on this video and then subscribe if you guys want to see more grand cross and we'll continue on with this so yeah that's gonna do it for today's video guys have a great day